If you want the whitest whites, the brightest brights, and the freshest smelling clothes, stick around to find out which of these ingredients you should never use in your DIY laundry detergent. Let's talk about what I do use and why. So I do use baking soda and washing soda. Washing soda is produced from a superheated baking soda. By superheating the baking soda, it changes the molecular structure and giving it new properties. The baking soda I use for not only softening the water, but also for lifting odors from my clothing. Where the Ooh. washing soda is more caustic, this has a pH of eight, and the washing soda has a pH of 11. And that causticness will help to break down the fats and the greases within our clothing. They serve different purposes, hence why I use both of them. Borax is a booster for these two ingredients, as well as the peroxide that is an oxyclean. The borax is a natural component. A lot of people have stopped using borax though because they don't understand what borax does or because it doesn't dissolve in cold water. That's easily remedied by mixing your laundry cleaner in a small amount of hot water and stirring it around until everything is dissolved and then pouring that directly in your wash. That way you make sure that everything is dissolved and to be thoroughly dispersed throughout the wash. And I do use OxyClean. I didn't used to do that, but knowing what OxyClean does is why I added it back in. OxyClean is a powdered form of peroxide. It provides a little bit of an effervescence to help pull the water through the clothes. Your agitation process is gonna do that as well. The peroxide then also helps to break down certain proteins within the soils that are in your clothes and then helps to whiten, especially if you buy this particular style of OxyClean. I use salt because salt helps to strengthen the fibers. So if you have cottons or linens that you're washing, salt will help to protect those fibers, as well as the colors in your clothes. If you didn't use the salt, you might find that your colors fade a bit faster, especially when using washing soda. And then I use essential oil. I do want to add some caution to using essential oil because you'll hear a lot of recipes call for citrus essential oils and the citrus is known to be more damaging to elastic. So I avoid citrus. I will use something that is more neutral such as a rose or a lavender or even a rosemary essential oil. Whatever you find pleasing to your nose but do stay away from lemon especially. You can use a lemongrass which is a citronella and not a citrus and it'll still provide you with that lemony fresh scent. Now let's talk about the ratios of what I use. No, 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 no. Why? That's right. I don't use soap in my laundry cleaner and I'm calling it a cleaner because I also don't use any chemicals in it, which would make it a detergent. Soap is great for saponification, which is a process that allows the water tension to be broken and the soils to be encapsulated within the suds of soap and carried away. But what soap does is it leaves a residue behind of the fats or the resins that are used to produce a soap. And because I don't want those residues left within my article of clothing, which then allows bacteria to grow, causing odors, I don't use soap. Soap is also can be damaging to your high efficiency washing machines. And so avoid soap if you can. I do use it, but sparingly and only on tough stains. And then I do use an, a washboard to provide the amount of friction and enough water to create agitation to help pull some of those soaps out. Also, if you're going to be rinsing your clothes with vinegar and you've used a Castile soap, you're gonna find that what the vinegar does is it break down that Castile soap, returning it to an oil base. And then that Castile soap is going to harden into the fibers of your clothing, you'll never get it out. The acid and the base have an adverse reaction and it is a very bad thing. Don't ever use Castile soap and then rinse with vinegar. Avoid combination at all costs. This soap and vinegar do not have an adverse reaction, by the way, only Castile. cups of baking soda, I'm gonna use an equal amount of salt. And then I'm gonna add in three cups of OxyClean, three cups of washing soda, and four cups of borax. Then I'm gonna add in two to four teaspoons of my essential oil. Mix all of that thoroughly together, and then just store it in a container. I use a glass vessel that I bought off of Amazon, excluding the essential oil. All of these things together when priced on Amazon in today's market at the time of recording, which is February, 2022, is around $35 in the size that you see here. But again, I'm not using the full amount. I'm only using a portion of them. So for roughly a fraction of the cost of $35, I have a year's worth of laundry detergent here because I'm only gonna use 
one to two teaspoons depending upon the size load that I'm washing or the amount of soil within the article that I'm washing. And if you have a large family, think about the cost savings and also think about the impact on the environment by not using synthetic chemicals or perfumes or dyes within your laundry detergent. Now, when I rinse my clothes, I will rinse several times. I use about five gallons of water per load of wash that I'm doing. Now, I'm not doing super heavy loads, but for a normal size load, I use about five gallons of water. That's a couple gallons for the wash, and then I use the remaining two to three gallons of water for my rinse. And in the final rinse, where the water has begun to show that it's coming through the article of clothing clear, I will add in anywhere from half a cup to a cup of vinegar. That vinegar is also going to help to protect the fibers and it's going to help to break down any remaining residue from the laundry cleaner. I hope that you have found this video to be helpful. If you found it useful, please hit that like button and share it with others. If you've been sticking with me so far through this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to do so. You obviously like what you see and do me a favor, give it a thumbs up if you found it useful or entertaining and also share it with your friends and families. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen my other videos, be sure to check out this video that YouTube recommends. And these are the videos that I recommend.